Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Let's talk about different biosensors which are available commercially in the market. There are a lot of uh, parameters and a lot of uh, attributes that makes a biosensor uh, uh, global and makes a biosensor successful uh, in case of uh, market and commercially as well. And uh, for these reasons, there are not many examples uh, they of success in case of biosensors. However, uh, with the, the advancement in technology, with the advancement in science, uh, different types of biosensors now, now are available more and more commercially in the market. And for uh, this reason, uh, there had been so many failures and setbacks in the research of biosensors. However, uh, much more advanced and efficient biosensors are now available in the market. The first successful commercial biosensor was basically the glucose pen. It was launched by Exactech in 1987 and uh, in this and many of uh, its derivatives and other biosensors based on the same principle are very much successful in the market and are still used. There is a potential market in food industry, agriculture industry, military, veterinary and the environment as well and for medical and domestic uses as well. Many biosensors have been developed for different medical diagnostic purposes. Uh, uh, you can see a major percentage of biosensors is aimed as at diagnostics uh, and the market related to it. And many of these have such a uh, principle and such a, an approach that these can also be used for different environmental samples. Why so? Because uh, there are so many toxic compounds and such things uh, which can be present uh, in both medical samples and in environment as well. So same biosensors can be used or same approach can also be used. Uh, obviously, if we compare uh, the commercial aspects of uh, uh, the medical based biosensors and the environmental biosensors, obviously uh, uh, the income, the revenue generated by environmental based biosensors is not that much as compared to the ones which are aiming at diagnostics. Uh, however, uh, the applications of uh, environmental biosensors is still there. Why the application is still there? Because uh, due, due to the growing concern of the public about the quality of uh, the environment around them and uh, for, due to the legislation as well and due to the funding that is being uh, put in uh, the research related to environmental biotechnology and environmental sciences. So therefore, uh, much research is going on to make different types of biosensors to detect different harmful compounds and molecules present in the environmental samples as well. The most uh, successful ones are based on SPR. Uh, these SPR biosensors uh, and their derivatives uh, have been very much successful and different types of companies uh, are using this uh, approach to make a wide variety of biosensors. Uh, SPR basically stands for surface plasma uh, resonance. And the pioneer of uh, such uh, uh, biosensors are basically Pharmacia uh, Biosensor AB, which is now called as uh, Biocore AB. Uh, so many of uh, the biosensors used these days are derived on the uh, same principle. This diagram here shows uh, di uh, different commercial biosensors and different fields and uh, 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 different uh, applications in which these biosensors can be used. For example, you can see here. Um, biosensors can be used to detect the quality of food, to detect different types of uh, microorganisms like Salmonella, Campylobacter, to detect different types of toxin, toxic compounds, the toxins produced by different microorganisms, for example, Botulinum toxin A, cholera toxin, and so many other things as well. The biosensors can also be used to detect the presence of antibiotics and heavy metals as well in the food products, and these can also be used to detect different types of uh, other organic compo other compounds uh, in food for example ethanol methanol glucose sucrose lactose and overall uh, these biosensors can give us uh, a good view of the quality of the food and you can see here a major portion is uh, related to the diagnostics the clinical uh, biosensors as well and you can see here these can be used to detect and measure different types of uh, ions glucose urea uh, a lactate, uric acid and so many other such things as well. These can also be used to detect the presence of so many pathogens which are clinically important. For example, E. coli O157, HIV, Helicobacter, 
and so many other other pathogens as well. Many of the biosensors are also used as uh, cancer markers or, or to detect the cancer markers and uh, to detect different hormones as well and to detect the cardiac diseases as well and much research is going on in this area and the biosensors are also being used and a lot of search is being done uh, to detect different bio threats for example bacillus anthracis uh, scb ricin and so many other such related uh, pathogenic microorganisms which can be used as biological warfare agents or their related toxic compounds and you can see here uh, so many different biosensors are also being used to check the quality of the environment called as environmental biosensors you can see here these can be used to detect BOD5 BOD5 basically is BOD uh, nitrate concentrations presence of dioxins and other uh, related and non related uh, compounds which can pollute the environment so uh, there are certain things and uh, parameters and attributes uh, that uh, uh, make a biosensor successful uh, successful uh, when you talk about uh, its commercial aspects uh, these basically depend on the performance characteristics ki uski performance kitni achhi hai kitne achhe results deta hai sample throughput ke wo uh, sample ko kitna thoroughly assess karta hai aur kitne zyada samples ko assess karta hai aur kitni speed mein karta hai sara kuch usme aayega associated costs क्या वो इट्स सेल्फ बायोसेंसर महंगा है या इनएक्सपेंसिव है प्लस उसकी रनिंग कॉस्ट कितनी है मेंटेनेंस कॉस्ट कितनी है सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन दैट उसकी सक्सेस जो है वो कम या ज्यादा होगी इन द मार्केट एंड एक्सेप्टेंस बाय रेगुलेटरी अथॉरिटीज के जो रेगुलेटरी रेगुलेटरी अथॉरिटीज हैं किसी भी कंट्री में एरिया में वो उसको एक्सेप्ट करती हैं कि नहीं उस पर कोई क्वेश्चन मार्क तो नहीं आता या उसको मॉडिफाई करने की जरूरत तो नहीं पड़ सकती सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स Uh, contribute towards the success of uh, bio sensors when we talk about uh, the success commercially so these were a few examples and how bio sensors can be successful commercially uh, we will talk more about bio sensors in our next lessons